Hello, my name is Rocket and welcome back to episode 23 of our post night playthrough. Now let's collect our offline activity rewards as you can see. We're currently E3 ranked. Because I think I forgot to submit everything. Yeah, I forgot to to trade in all our tokens, so <laughs> my mistake. I was actually just thinking about it. Wait, why am I still E3 ranked? But oh well, that's my mistake. Let's begin by seeing our pom pom bounties for today. We have 30 dire wolves, 10 alpha dire wolves, and the bandit chief. And let's start by feeding Dane here some beer. I think that's what we have the most. We're talking of beer and wine and Dahlia. So, like I was saying, the emerine wine is from is for Dahlia, and I was correct about that. I also talked about uh, the. The green book, uh, the special item that that is actually for Fleur as well. So I did, um, I was right about that as well. So let's go here for Magnolia. Still at five stars, or hearts. I keep saying stars. I still don't have her special item, so I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit on that. But I actually think we get five hearts with Fleur today. I think. I think I'm pretty sure. Let's check. It's either this one or another one. Yeah, one one more. So as you can see, we have four really bright red hearts and then one that's a little bit darker, still not complete. So tomorrow we should have that ready to go. And with that, let's check on our merchant Carl here. Probably has nothing good for us. Yes. For shame, Carl. But with that, let's go to Shallow B. Emmy bubbles. So I'll just save. Now I'm talking a little bit about the tokens I have. I'll just um, use them at the same time I use the tokens I'm gonna get by doing the delivery quests and bounties today. So with that, let's continue by feeding bubbles some beer as well. We're we're giving we're giving alcohol to pets. Uh, oh my god! What am I doing? Don't tell anyone, right? It's it's our little secret. And also something before I forget, if you go to the blacksmith here, we are actually getting a few more upgrades into our tier three equipment since I finally bought the potion. Uh, yesterday I was able to buy a few other things, right? Not talking about the potion because it cost us like two hundred forty thousand points. So I could I got a few upgrades on our tier three equipment, and today we're probably gonna max out a few more things, which will be really really good, really great. But with that, we also probably have, yeah, it's HP, and I have I would keep it at three seconds. So let's skip that and check on Stevie here, and doesn't really have anything we want as well. So let's go back and to go to Gryffindor. I didn't see the Mounties. I just remembered. Forget about that one. Let's check Gryffindor's one before I forget. We have Washington Ant and Sky Raiders and the Scanned Chief, and also give a gift for Senna. There we go. And we see the gift as well. And we haven't feed bacon. Bacon. Hello. Let's feed bacon here. This pet biscuits. And let's receive a gift as well. Also got an achievement mat, so let's do that. And something else before I forget, we got to level 82, which means we got a, a new uh, sword. We got the stunning lunge, which stuns enemies. Uh, but I think I just like my I, I just like my set. You know, we have a defensive sustainish charge. We have a really you know a really defensive shield as well, and then we have our potion. I really don't see any use on these defensive stuff, and so I could just be defensive. I know it probably takes a little bit longer for us to finish things uh, sometimes, but also it explains a little bit why. Our episodes are a bit longer, but I don't really mind. I actually enjoy them, so we'll just keep on with that. I still think we need a little bit of silver bars for our tier three equipment. I'm pretty sure we need Zephyrite, but I do not have the necessary coins for that. We'll have to skip on that, and we can go to Calmont, and after that we'll, we'll finally be at the Valley of Gold for the first time not really the first time because i've leaked everything like two or three episodes ago but well we're four gems away of getting our wild piff oh well 
Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just unlucky. We'll get it next episode, or if we get four gems this episode. Well, let's give her the beer. There we go. Let's receive a gift from her or not. All right, sorry. And if you go to Camellia, give her that salad that she likes. There you go, and let's check on Cyrus if he has something good for us. We have a silver bar, thank you. Also have some equipment that I cannot buy, so we'll have to keep it for next episodes. And with that, let's go to the Valley of Gold, and I forgot to check the bounties again. I always remember it, I know how to leave, but oh well. Let's check the Valley of Gold ones. We have 10 minor captains, minor captains. Chief Miner and 30 Mimics. Now, concerning special mechanics of characters or enemies, uh, I guess the only thing to point out is the Kickler or the Crickle they have here as well. And they basically, when they are spotted, they they explode, and that's that's it. So we remember these guys, right? There's Uri and Voss, and they both do the same thing of the Innkeeper. You have Zad on our blacksmith, and you have Hysteria here. Let's go for something. Let's go for the coffee. There we go. And receive a gift from her. Wow, we can actually receive a gift from her out of nowhere. We're literally at zero. That's really weird. And you have a potion upgrade. Nice to meet. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked to her. This is Alchemist Tanya. Since we, since we were here and I leaked everything, like Jeb says ago, I forgot we still had the sardine dialogue with people. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully you can maybe pause or something and actually check what I skipped at the beginning. Oh, that, we actually, you know, we have stuff of HP that we don't, don't want. And we have Zena, the merchant. Yeah. The crystal potion, which costs 900,000 coins. Yeah. I have a gold bar that I want to buy. But damn, that's a lot of coins, huh? But with that, we can actually finally begin a Valley of Gold stage. So let's do it. Let's see if we're strong enough. Let me just check if I have the right stuff. Yes, we do. So let's begin with the Valley Access Stage 1. Now, we basically have pretty interesting characters, and my screen is just freezing, hopefully that stops. We have Mimics here that are just basically pretty tanky and annoying. The Miners and the Goldens actually do a lot of damage. But for now, since we're actually starting, we shouldn't find as much trouble with the stages as we did in the A-ranked delivery quest or something like that. We're still finding some basic goldens and some mimics, so for now it should be fine. And we have Iron Walled Merchant. Uh, so the first route will be good for us to see what exactly the plot is here. Oh, we got, we got an equipment already. The Golem's Claymore. That it looks really cool. Hopefully we can get that upgraded and maybe use it in the future. Oh, something I mentioned last episode that I want to talk about a little bit on this episode as well while we move on to the Valley Access Day 2 is the Tier 5 equipment. So since we're here in the Valley of Gold, Tier 5 equipment is starting to be acquired by us. And this is where things usually get crazy and... The limit is your imagination. I keep shielding on the crickle. My god. Um, like I was saying, this is when people start just doing whatever they want and their imagination is a limit with the equipment because the equipment starts to have some new different bonuses as the like the usual, oh, you get 2% dodge rate, you get 5% critical rate or something like that. I'll continue after we see what this golden has to say. 
This is Yod, a scholar. So what was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so, you know, it's not the usual, oh, 2% dodge rate bonus or 5% critical rate. They actually start to be some different bonuses which much, with much more unique effects and it starts to be a lot cooler. So let's go to the Valley Access Stage 3. And uh, obviously the equipment is better, so they give you better stats overall. And you can just combine some crazy equipment from, you know, stage from tier 4 or tier 5 or tier 6 or tier 7. And you actually still have a pretty decent set and even even better than probably a full set of something. Uh, but, but, you know, like I mentioned last episode, I probably will just keep a full set because I do like that way. And it, it fits better into like a role playing kind of way, if, if, if you know kind of what I'm saying, but um, I, when we reach, if we, when we reach level 99, I will just put um, an awesome set and and recharge, or not, re reset our full points and everything like that, and actually will make really OP character, but for now I'm just trying to enjoy a little bit more of the plot of the stories of the game, the game has to offer, and once we reach that level 99, we're just trying to, you know, finish everything and 100% this game. I'll work more into that specific goal. Alright, so, you know, at the beginning we thought the golems were gonna be a little, you know, a little bit not nice to us, but we got the golems Bur burgonet burgonet i'm not really sure if that's supposed to be french or not but uh the we, we found some really nice uh golems up until now so uh, of course not counting the enemies but the, the ones that are actually supposed to be the characters not counting these two they're just basically professional so uh what is his name uri and vas you know they're basically professional but they don't really dislike us or anything like that and we we found some pretty okay golden. So let's see when they actually start to feel unwelcome by the humans. Well, with that, we move to the Valley Axis Stage Four. We're still just re we we're still just us uh, um, delivering. That's the word. Our mail to the goldens and the and the town folk, and we're still just finding stuff out. There we go, you found Ironwald again. Or just an Ironwald merchant, I'm really sure if it's the same one. Still nothing major happening. Maybe at the last stage of the Valley Access, we'll do and do that right now. Something else I wanted to mention just a little bit. Uh, I'm actually taking a little bit too much time with all these delivery quests and bounties. As you can see since last episode, I think we evolved or upgraded for like four levels, which is kind of insane. And we're at 50% already of 82. But with that, let's go to the Valley Access Stage 5, which means, you know, even if, even if it takes me a little bit... Oh, we actually managed to engage on that crickle before it exploded automatically after being spotted. So just saying that, uh, you know, we're getting really good progress and our, our time just uh, grinding with delivery quests and bounties two times even though it takes a few hours actually giving us a really nice upgrade and experience and overall power to our character and with that we finish really easily the valley access this is vero Some more information about the goldens here. Some I welcome us, some I not. And with that, I think we've been getting gems until now. Do we have the 300 gems to get that wild piff? Because I'm actually not sure what they like to eat as well. But you we do have 303. We have a stereo talking to us now. So he's a leader. Vero is actually a friend of Teacher Zad, which explains being nice to us.
Go there, let's get another achievement complete. There we go. So before... Now let's first do a delivery quest and then we'll end the episode a little bit differently by adopting the wild piff. So let's do natural delicacies. Oh, and I also have to do the special route. I forgot. All right. So we're just switching things around this episode because I'm not being... I'm forgetting about what we'd usually do for some reason. <laughs> I guess the, the shallow bay special routes yesterday. I, I had enough of special routes for a little while, but I will be doing that obviously after we finish this delivery quest. Hopefully we don't lose too much HP. I'm not going to charge for another two seconds while I get my shield. Alright. Not good, we lost so much HP. Probably have to go to Pom Pom for a little while. My god, why, am I, why does my screen keep freezing? Stop. I'm trying to record. Alright. Can we get at least a little bit more HP? Hello, please? I don't think a thousand is enough to start a pom-pom route, so... Oh well, we have to wait for that. We still get a little bit of coins and everything that we enjoy. Alright, while we wait, let's go to the Wild Piff and do that. So let's go back to Kalpont, right? Yes. So where is the Wild Piff? Let's adopt you, my little friend. Yes. No, your name is not Spark. Can I change it? Alright. The name will be... No. Lily. Yes. This is a female piff for me, so it's gonna be Lily. I <laughs> kind of searched for top 10 bunny names, and Lily was one of them, and I really enjoyed it, so... Our wild piff is gonna be Lily. Now, I have no clue if she, you know, if she, what, what she likes to eat. Let's go see if, um, if Cyrus has anything of food here. No, I think maybe the, the pet biscuits is still the way to go, but we don't have any, so, damn. Let's uh, give him one of Dan's tree, let's see if, <laughs> she probably won't like it, but let's give him, let's give it juicy meat, yeah. She did not like it, if you go here, oh, you can actually change, but I really don't have anything to give her, I can give her some, uh, I don't know, what's, what would be good, let's give her, uh, some roast beef. Alright, she's okay with the gift. So this she's animals are okay with the gifts you give them if they're supposed to be for another bond character interest that is human. And if you give her something that is, you know, pet related that is not for her, she doesn't enjoy it. Oh that can actually receive a gift from her as well. So, you know, some extra stuff. And now we have Lily added to the team. Let's go back to Pom Pom and uh, do um, the delivery quest so we can actually get our all of HP back. And we can do the special route before I forget about that and I try to end the episode early. Again. So I'm not gonna charge, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna spam that potion. Hopefully we can get three or four upgrades. Come on, alright, we got three, which isn't bad. I think we have enough HP. To go in and do that. You know, obviously, I skip that like every single episode, and then I say I'm sorry like every single episode. But with that, we should finally be able to go do the the Valley of Access special route and finish off the episode. So you know we're still pretty okay. We're going still pretty smoothly for the Valley of Gold, not having that much trouble. Which is nice as well, and that also means you have a, I think we do have a really de decent level, I'm not really sure what is the standard level here. But I think 82 is okay, or better than okay, I'm not really sure, I don't really think it's that bad. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we're not supposed to be on like our level 90s at this point or something. 
But yeah, we're going pretty smoothly. We're not finding that high tier enemies yet. We're still having a little bit of trouble on E ranked delivery quests, which I think, which I think is totally normal, actually. So I think we're pretty good. I also now I need to think of a name for the Crickle. What is the Crickle even supposed to be? Is it like just supposed to resemble or be one of those blue things in the background? So like a crystal or something. I'll see if I can find a nice crystal name for it then. <laughs> I guess I'll do that. There we go, we reach halfway. We don't need to watch now, which is awesome. I mean, something is going right. Wow, that, that's really satisfying. Just kill them all with one blow. There we go. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not. I'm really sure what the crickle is supposed to do. Like, it, is it if we just charge at it and we blow it up and it does some insane amount of damage? So maybe if you're like using the blitz ability, which means you go double distance and you actually, or in the range of its explosion, you actually, you know, you t receive a lot of damage. I'm not really sure because you haven't encountered it yet, obviously. But something for a later episode, maybe, or something I can actually try quest or something like that but with that we have finished the valley of access special route and with that we have we have done everything that i want to do this episode including adding lily to the family and one day maybe the scribble i mean 100 percent we will but with that said and done hopefully you did enjoy this episode next episode we will continue with the valley of gold and we're going to go for the golden grotto so yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.